Wachotowin, all things are related. This is the foundation of Cree traditional law and is based on the Cree understanding of natural law. The Cree people have always had their own justice system and laws. Developed over thousands of years and passed down orally through ceremony, stories and song, these laws are to be followed by everyone in a family, community or society. The language of a people is the vehicle to express these laws. And today, many of our people do not understand Cree law and also feel disconnected from Canadian law. We turn to Cree elders to discuss natural law and its role of the past and present. We have approached our elders and made appropriate offerings as part of Cree protocol to receive their gift of knowledge. I guess one of the things I just want to say in, in uh, English here is that uh, when we talk about Wakutuan, you know, is that we're related. The Creator had created this universe and everything, and that universe relates to us, Wakumgwe. We don't relate to it, they relate to us. And as we are on this earth, we are related to everything that's in the creation, the trees, everything, the grass, the rock, everything. It's part of the earth, just like we are. The earth provides for us. Today we call her Mother Earth. She provides everything for us. And we lift off that. But ever since the European people come and live with us, things have started to change drastically. When they make treaties, Mm. Just that spirit we have, that's the spirit that's going to go up there. That's the spirit that's going to go up there. That's the spirit that's going to go up there. Wahotowin is a Cree name for the rules that govern the relationship of one thing to another. The guidelines ensure all people respect one another and the other living things on this earth. When people come to live together in peace and harmony, it is called Wataskowin. Healthy relationships are the result of following the intent of Wahotowin and Wataskowin. <laughs> Oskai 
When the newcomers come to our land, they shook hands. Okay, we agree to live with you. That's that word. I come to live with you in peace, harmony. They shook hands. They had an agreement. They left the pipe, made the treaty. After that agreement was done, they shook hands. He went his way. Indians stayed on the land. He went over there and he started writing laws. He started to use that paper to make everything his way. Our understanding of living together in harmony is to have mutual respect, obligation, and responsibility to foster and maintain healthy relationships. Our laws affect our interaction and interconnectedness with all things. Canadian legislation was put on paper to open the land for a growing population. Ceremony, mobility, and economic growth were restricted. In an effort to assimilate our people into a new way of life, children were forced into church and government-run residential schools. The laws written on paper were put above Cree natural law. The laws that the governments have established do not correlate with what we understand. Our, our responsibility, obligations are to our Creator and our families. Because we didn't have the opportunity to teach our children these values that we talk about, these concepts, we were, we were, we were, it was stopped. It was uh, blocked, it was uh, manipulated, it was turned into something. Uh, you know, our people were demonized by the churches, by the government, our, by saying that our elders were not important, that our, our teachings were not valued, are important. Our ways were not important, you know. That's what created this whole mess today. And it, it, it teaches a person to uh, be more and more uh, bitter and, and uh, spiteful and uh, cynical, you know, about society and about life. Well, what's the use if your children are taken away? You know, you get angry, blame society, you know, the system, the social workers and the justice workers. They're all enemies. Yeah? So that's that mentality of that person is really uh, becoming a, an illness because they don't have no backup. They don't have nowhere to go. They get very angry. So what do you do? I give up. All must go get drunk. Break the law. It's a vicious cycle, and, and the way that they're dealing with it, it doesn't work. For us, anyway, I don't see it. The elders discuss the consequences of not following our natural laws. The elders see changes in the youth. Mistake, 
Det er så skrevet, at der er mange matsunder, mange kibikskunder. Der bor jeg hjemmen med godt. Der kører jeg og skræk, jeg var nær godt. Kan jeg gøre? Måden er det, at det er man måne jeg og jeg kan gøre det bedre. Matsun med to hom, og med to har jeg noget på tæk. Kapir jeg i tæk skole, så jeg bor på tæk tæk tæk. Jeg tror, at jeg ikke har gjort det, men jeg har ikke gjort det, men jeg har ikke gjort det. Nå, det var sådan, at jeg har gjort det. Jeg har gjort det, så jeg har ikke gjort det, men jeg har ikke gjort det. Men jeg har ikke gjort det, men jeg har ikke gjort det. Jeg har ikke gjort det, men jeg har ikke gjort det. Jeg har ikke gjort det, men jeg har ikke gjort det. Jeg har ikke gjort det, men jeg har ikke gjort det. Jeg har ikke gjort det, men jeg har ikke gjort det. Jeg har ikke gjort det, men jeg har ikke gjort det. Jeg har ikke gjort det. Tanz de esos que vito tama matzunan, mina tanz de esos de se pixcua, de se manacha acá y si no, apo monos pakungauna ni gante tajam que se haga este, na hoy mina monos pakungauna, y como ni que uxi que pixe manacha está chuyao, cayas que este, gunan que coya. Voy a ir más como te negan. Nikau na isita kon, na toh macam ni kau isita kon. Saya kamu ni aw, macam ni kau hebat, semangat sa. Hai warga Taiwan, hote kau yang mesti tahu kau gaya, kama muntah cukup gaya, istan segi segi asal cukup gaya, kank juga. There's lots of people in that thing. Muka tak kau na kasih tahu kau nak kena cukup bis. Tak mesti nak sih tahu kamu ti nawa, ti nawa, ikan juga. Ikan itu potong kamu kau cek, ikut dia cek pun payah cik dia kau. Tapi ini kau kamu tahu sih ni kau. Sama dengan research, we don't even know they're in there already. Tapi mui hari ini kau ya, mui asal nama kau itu tak mui kau mah. Ya tu sih anak tu sih kita mah. Stony Mountain, the ghetto scan, put to come go with the pole board, with the menuma. Gargui, ghetto scan. I used to work there. I knew these things. I work with them. I knew that's why I knew. Pahaganak. We are Makuma. Moment again, again, you go here. We are Manuma. Come on, Pogo. Kena terpahu ya, kan sekali seminggu tu tak isi nu. Tapi dia akan gua kamu ni aw, tanya kamu kaki sekitar gua. In order to correct dissension between people, communities, and society, we have to adhere to our traditional ways. Our ceremonies and our values continue to be taught. They are as relevant today as they were long ago. The elders share some traditional ways of applying natural laws. We go give beer and give beer with the oxy sam. Kaya sitre beer and you can put tustum with the oskneg, oskneges. Kamutamo atom satamutan at the risk of Ikata to me. You go amigo, brought the mariva. Speak on a excuse taps, you come with the taps, what you come with. Nihau, nihau, nihau ya suan kau sekejap lagi sepe. Begok, begok, kau mesti semua tu ke 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 hujan tama ke tanz tadi tu tama. Begok hawa, kau kau ya suan teh tawa hawa tas kau cakap skni ke sa. Minyak tu he, tak tos kau at. Kau tama at kikoi, kikoi tak boleh sisa, kena kati mat. Eu sei me que isso está suado, está no tiro feito as mulheres e as suas não estão só que gostam. Qual mamã está mamã de aqui? A lot of what the elders teach and bring to us is centered around behaviors. It's centered around relationships. And 
and it's centered around the uh, sacredness of life. White society, or the justice system in this case, sorry, is that it teaches about separation and about uh, isolation, about removal, about uh, condemning and uh, punishment, uh, judgmental uh, conditions. All of that kind of language does not, does not uh, help restore the family to what it should be. I've uh, worked for about ten and a half years with adolescents in St. Paul. Palm Maker uh, had uh, an adolescent program for 90 days there for young offenders, and they're all a uh, different variety of uh, kids that came. I took them out of there, along with an anger management uh, counselor. We brought them out, we put them to a fast. We, first we teed them what the fast was, what it's about. We put them out in 24 hours. That was too short. So they wanted another one. So we went two days. And two days they finished that. We had eight of them out there. Anyway, we had to have a volunteer to stay with them overnight because, you know, there's some of them were, uh, you know, uh, young offenders. So you couldn't just leave them out there in the bush all by themselves. So we used a teepee, you know. We had a volunteer staff to stay with them. Anyway, uh, after the second day, uh, we had our, when they finished, we had our sweat and the feast and, we done a pipe, there was uh, me and another elder there. And as we finished that pipe, one of the young people grabbed dishes right away. And uh, my boss, she was a woman there, you know, and uh, as soon as he saw these kids taking food, you know, he said, you boys. And uh, as she done that, I looked at her and I went like this, you know, and she looked at me and they all stopped. And they said, oh, never mind. So these kids, they just kept taking food, you know. After they finished filling that their plates, they brought me one. They brought one, and then they brought her. They served everybody, even though they were hungry. They were the last ones to serve themselves, you know. And no one, and no one told them to do that, you know. And these kids were the ones that are the supposed to be worst behavior kids in there. And I told my boss there, I said, you just about undone everything I tried to do. I said, just by that one time, trying to discipline them. I said, these kids, I said, we have to be able to learn to give them back responsibility, I said, for their own actions, I said. In the treatment programs, as I speak today, they treat the symptoms. Nobody treats the insight, and that's where that healing's supposed to start. Practicing Cree natural law creates harmony and justice. Cree laws consider everyone in a disagreement. We need to start promoting our own worldview. It's not to say that uh, to have biases against uh, the Western system, but rather to understand why things are the way they are. Because that's where it came from and now we're here, so what can we do to correct that, you know? The damage has been done, so let's look at that. What do we learn from that damage? If we turn that around and use the model of, of res restoring and uh, reclaiming and helping that person identify their roles and responsibility and, and support them in that, not condemn them, not judge them, but to give them that, that uh, loving support as a human being, then I think, you know, that, that's going to restore not only that person, but the children and the family and the community. Everything we talk about is about family. If you just, in simple terms, go back, it's about family. Because everything in nature is family. There's birds are belong to a family. The four-legged beings belong to a family. That's what the elders always talk about. The trees are a family. There's families in everything. And uh, it's it goes back to this whole area of Wahutu, and even with the Muniao, we have a Wahutu and with the Muniao, a relationship. And that's what this talks about. So if they were to listen to our side and talk about our laws and our what governs us, our rules around relationship, our rules around 
our behaviors and so forth in, in the community and in our societies, we would have a, a stronger society, a healthier society. We could teach uh, society something about Wahutun and how, how their own children are being affected the same way. You know, other, other ethnic groups are being affected the same way as we are. Marga, we'd like to go back. I, I'd like to see these things go back myself. We are working. 1996, January 2nd, I, I worked in Penn that morning and I left the pipe. I left it. I asked God to help us. I don't think I'll see it with the task. I'd like to see all Indian people to come out from that building where they locked up life. I don't think I'll see it. But uh, I see it sometimes. Some people, they listen what we try to teach them. Those spirits are listen to us when we pray. We ask them to look after our young people all over, even white guys. We pray for these guys, white guys. We pray for them. I'm not just pray for myself. I pray for them every good ways, just because we live with them. 